of the most common reasons that I hear as to why people have chosen a PlayStation over an Xbox or why they just won't ever buy an Xbox One is a lack of system exclusives. And while I agree that the overall count of exclusives is certainly less, uh, there are a number of titles that I feel are still must-plays and are certainly worth picking up for anyone who has yet to try them or for anyone who is new to the system. So today we'll be talking about a handful of titles that are console exclusives that you shouldn't pass up on Second Breakfast. Hello there, I am Musty Hobbit, and there's nothing that a hobbit loves more than another helping of Second Breakfast, so welcome back. Today we're talking console exclusives for the Xbox One that you may not have had a chance to play yet. Now a couple ground rules, we are uh, going to look at games other than uh, ones in the Halo and Gears of War series. Those are mainline staples, those are obviously ones that if you are at all an action gamer or into first person shooters, you should be into one of those series. So I'm not going to mention those, but I have a few that I'd like to go over today, and we'll be starting with Ori and the Blind Forest. Moon Studios absolutely knocks this puzzle platformer out of the park. Keying on mobility, expanding powers and exploration, Ori, a guardian of the forest, is pushed into a quest to restore light to the spirit tree. This game is challenging yet fair, and that carries a gorgeous visual styling and boasting an even more outstanding soundtrack. The sequel, Ori and the Will of the Wisps, was announced at E3 2017, so now's as good a time as ever to give Ori a try. If games like Super Metroid or Castlevania Symphony of the Night are your thing, Ori should be right up your alley. Whether your goal is to find every secret, or simply speedrun it, Ori in the Blind Forest is one of the more memorable gaming experiences I've ever had the pleasure of playing and is a must play for any Xbox One owner. Next up we have a title that follows in the Max Payne and Alan Wake footsteps of Remedy Software and that is Quantum Break. Some pretty lofty goals were set with Sam Lake and Remedy Entertainment taking on another third-person shooter title. They aimed to find a way to blend their game with multiple episodes of a TV-length show, and the results were impressive. In Quantum Break, we play as Jack Joyce, who has gained abilities as a result of a time travel experiment gone wrong. This allows him to manipulate time, cause temporal explosions, put up shields, dodge bullets, and use a variety of weaponry to take down various enemies from an evil corporation. Combine this with some creative environmental puzzles, platforming, and some decisions that drive how both the show and the rest of the game play out, and you've got an interesting take on the genre. And to top it all off, you've got some superb performances from Sean Ashmore, Aidan Gillen, Dominic Monaghan, Courtney Hope, and Lance Reddick. Quantum Break is an approach to gaming well ahead of its time. One of the games I hear most people who don't have an Xbox mention that they are interested in playing is Insomniac's Sunset Overdrive. If you took Jet Grind Radio and soaked it in an energy drink for a few hours, blended it with a load of 80s and 90s nostalgia, and threw in a bunch of crazy weapons and a seemingly endless stream of zombies, you might get close to the insanity that is Sunset Overdrive. Traversing the world as your custom character, ziplining, grinding, and doing parkour just off, off of just about everything, protecting capture points in solo or co-op horde mode, or playing through the story mode, the options seem endless for this Insomniac title. This game really has to be experienced. There's not much out there quite like it. A definitively cinematic adventure game by Crytek, this day one launch title for the Xbox One is Rise, Son of Rome. I picked up Rise on day one as a way to showcase what my brand new Xbox One was capable of, and the experience, while shorter than most single player games and repetitious at times, was beautiful. Rise plays as a hack and slash title with flowing combat along the lines of what the Batman Arkham titles have grown to be. 
Following some of the similar story beats as movies like Gladiator and Spartacus, Rise puts you in the shoes of a Roman general on a quest to avenge his murdered family. The visuals here are quite good for the first game on the system, and the effects are extremely visceral and overall impressive. I really enjoyed my time with Rise and was glad to see it become a game with gold and now included with Xbox Game Pass. Critics have commented on the QTE feel of the executions, and I don't disagree that more recent games have done it better, but Rise is a good depiction of melee combat from the era and is an enjoyable experience worth playing through. And to close out today's video, we'll be looking at ReCore, a third-person action title from Microsoft Studios. ReCore feels like a futuristic Metroid Prime-like title, including some of the best parts of 3D collectathon platformers set in a world where terraforming is our way of life. You play as Jewel, who has woken from hypersleep to find that the terraforming efforts on a nearby planet have failed, and she must set out with her robot companion, Mac, to figure out what has happened. Jewel's adventures require mastery of platforming, shooting, and timing attacks from Mac and other core bots that she comes across. The game was developed by KJ Inafune and the team behind Metroid Prime 3 and Maverick Hunter, and ReCore certainly inherits many of the features and aspects, especially in how we go about advancing the story from those titles. Overall, improving your core bots as you progress through the story is key, and seeking out the upgrades and components to do so along the way is just a ton of fun. I couldn't recommend ReCore more highly, uh, and with a definitive edition that has come out recently, it certainly has a lot to be discovered. So that'll about wrap it up. We have five titles for the Xbox One, all of which can be gotten for at or less than $20, and are certainly worthy of not only your time, uh, but to have in a collection as well. Second Breakfast comes every Thursday, uh, and normally we will talk about current events or other things going on in the gaming world, uh, but today I felt like we'd do something a little bit different. Please uh, subscribe if you are interested in this type of content, and I will be putting out more every single week. Uh, additionally, uh, if you liked the video and you like this style of video, please let me know by hitting the like button or leave me a comment. Tell me uh, what you found interesting or if you know of any console exclusives for the Xbox One that you want to get the word out on. Uh, I look forward to hearing from you and seeing you in the future, uh, but for now, uh, thank you for coming by. I have been Musty. Take care of yourself. Be good to each other. Bye.